We do have a little sharky. Just a baby. Mr. Sharky, Tiger Shark, please don't attack. Hey guys, welcome to Stranded Deep, and this is gonna be really a test episode to see if I can make some YouTube videos for Stranded Deep and still be able to go and check out different types of islands and the community islands for the game. So now here is the cartograph that I have chosen. I do have a better map. It's just like this, but I've actually named each one of these. So as we go and explore each island, I will go ahead and name them off, read off what the description is, and we'll check out each one. The plan is to start off on Kauai Loa, and that is the plan to go over here for our first starting island. I'm not gonna start on the little tropical island as it's kind of a waste of time. Okay, let's go ahead and get back into the gameplay of Stranded Deep. Okay, so I know you guys seen this a billion times, if you guys are really into Stranded Deep. So far we've seen it twice, and this is going to be your third time. Crashing into the Pacific. And we did. We made it. Let's see if we can find the pilot. No pilots. They evacuated already. They left us a uh, lifeboat. Okay, so we are going to go to this small island really, really fast. As I do want to collect the clots on this island. And then we will head over to Kailua. So there should only be two clots per island. There's our second one. I do see we have a box over here. I'm going to try to kind of fill up my inventory. Hopefully no sharks. And the main thing is hopefully no lag. Doesn't look like there's anything down below. Let's get some air. Then I'll go up the stairs. Okay, we got another container. I will take the battery. I'll take anything that I can fit. Looks like everything in the captain's deck. Oh, can't lose that. Let's do see if we have a hole in the side of the ship. Sometimes there is a hole. And we can find some pretty good items, but the ship looks like that's about it. I did see some tires. I'm not going to collect those. Maybe when I do end up deciding to come over here and farm this island out, then maybe I'll grab them. But in my other gameplay, I never really even used the tires.
Okay, our two boxes are now full. Let's see if we can find another box on one of these two ships. Hopefully two boxes. And some goodies would be very nice. More tires. I see a box at the top. Let's open up the door. We got a container. More cloth. We really need cloth. As that's going to be like our sails, our water still. Okay, we got an opening on the opposite side. But it does not look like there's anything inside. Okay, next ship. Physical level up. Barrels. Like, again, we might come back for that later. It looks like all the secrets have been discovered in that ship, too. Did I go on top? Let's go ahead and check, check the top, just in case. We do have a little sharky. Just a baby. Okay, so now I gotta organize the items that we just collected, see what I actually wanna take over to Kwailoa, and then I'm gonna make Kwailoa my first base, as there are is a bunch of items on that island. And I have played that island. Let's grab our containers. We are now ready to head off to Kwailoa, which is that island there. Okay, so you can see here our map and the names for every island. So yeah, I really can't wait to really explore that island out. I explored it a very little, and it's a really good starting island, I think. It's got all the resources that we're gonna need, other than cloth. I think I only found like two cloths on the island. So that's why I really wanted to make sure I picked up some cloth and got anything else that extra. Okay, we're still stuck, even though we're in the water. We gotta get off the sandbar. Back on the sandbar. Flip you around. Okay, and off we go. So as long as the shark doesn't attack us, we can make it over to Kwailoa, or I'll see you over there then. Mr. Sharky, Tiger Shark, please don't attack. I 
I don't mind you swimming with me. The music has changed. It sounds like he's gonna attack. He's just tricking. Okay, we made it safely across the ocean, which I'm very surprised that the shark didn't attack us. Okay, so stuff that we have to do on this island is make sure we get an axe, get a knife, do all the tutorial stuff, build our shelter, build the water. So a bunch of things that we gotta get going on. Let's go ahead and find a good spot that we can call home. We do have a ship over here, but then I kind of want like an area, like a little bit wider of an area. I don't need to be over here. There are snakes on the island, so we do have to watch out for the snakes. Like right here would be an excellent spot because it's nice and wide open. Okay, good spot. I like it. So we gotta find some items, but first, <laughs> before we find the items, let's drop all our items. Whoa, whoa. Okay, we need some rocks now. Okay, I wanted to get four rocks, but we had to go to the opposite side of the island to find the two more. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to our home area. Actually, before first, before we go to our home area, let's go ahead and craft. We're gonna craft the stone tool. And we do need two of those so we can build our ax. And then we probably actually need another one. So quite a few of these. There, right. go ahead and make three. Now, if I run into these bushes here, the palm saplings, this will give us our lashing. I need to find some sticks. And I didn't pick it up, but we'll get back to it. Getting dark out. Spent our whole day on our little tiny island over there. Which means we're not even ready for the night here. But we'll be able to survive. Got the yucca tree here. Okay, let's see what we can craft now. Let's make a lashing. Then with that lashing, now we can craft our knife. Next thing we're probably going to have to make... It's probably a shelter, fire... We need our axe. So I need more lashing. Craftsmanship level up. Now we can make our crude axe. Okay, we got our axe now. Let's go ahead and cut down some palm trees. 
Because we need them palm fronds. Leveled up our harvesting. Let's take this wood. And so, when it was dark, this is when I lost a lot of my FPS for the game. So I do hope that it looks good and it doesn't look bad. Because really how this episode looks is how the series is going to be. If it looks bad, then I'm just going to end up quitting the series. Okay, we need to find more lashing. Or lashing material. Fibrous leaves. Yucca plants. See a yucca plant straight ahead. We got food. Some pork. But what I like to do is I like to go fishing and actually jump inside, catch a bunch of fish with my spear. So when it becomes daylight, then I'll go ahead and show you guys. Craft a couple lashings. Now we can build our shelter. Bring our shelter against the base of the mountain. Might as well, let's go ahead and save. Okay, so now our next goal is to get the items such as food, water. So to get the food, we need to build a fire. Four sticks we're gonna need for that. And here I just like to cut down just the regular trees and save the trunks. And then if I really, really need the trunks, then I'll cut it up into wood. Which I might need it, because here, here's some sticks. The ficus tree. Check what we need. Fire, we got our four wood. I need some palm fronds for the shelter. I cut down that palm tree. I thought I picked up palm fronds. But maybe I used it for something else. All right, that's why we got a bunch of palm trees. The plan is for this island to totally harvest it, cut down everything. Mine everything out. And maybe on one of these islands we can build a super base. That's why I already used it for the shelter. I forgot I built a shelter. Okay, so let's go ahead, build our fire. Now we need kindling. Okay, now we really, really need some food. I guess I'm gonna have to eat some boar. Gonna build a couple crude spears. Except for I gotta drop some items. Cause we're getting full. Except for not my axe. I like to drop my axe a lot. The 
craftsmanship leveled up. Where are you going, Mr. Piggy? One hit. I think this guy takes quite a bit of hits. There's three. Pig down, pig down. Okay, we're gonna skin it. I think we get two leather material and two food. Pig is now out. Okay, medium boar meat. We're gonna go ahead and cook that up. This rawhide I do not need. So drop it down. Throw our spears into the ground. Now we're gonna need a watering device. Water still, so we need some coconuts. Lashing. I'm gonna need more lashing material. Coconut flask. So I need to find four more lashing materials. Harvesting leveled up. Hopefully we can get to the max level pretty soon. Like really, really fast in this gameplay. As items do last a lot longer when you are at the max level. I really need one more fibrous leave. Strike. Not on this side of the island. Yeah, I don't have enough. I think I need to travel up the path. Go find some more yukas. Scared of snakes. Go the other way. Walk the other way. So, snake in this area. Not gonna go after him in the dark. There we go. Got our final fibrous leave that we needed. Now we can make our lashing. we had room in our inventory. Let's run back to the base. Our food should be ready and then we should be able to build some a watering still. One palm frond, one cloth. I'm gonna drop some of these items that we are not using right now. So I'm tired of running out of room. 
chopping down this palm tree for some palm fronds. So many hits. Okay, watering still should be available now. Perfect right there. Let's eat our meat. Cook our next one. <laughs> nice. Wrong meat. See, that's the only thing I don't like about this version. It really doesn't tell you which meat that you have in your hand. Or at least I haven't figured that out. Because sometimes the first meat is the cooked meat. Sometimes, like right there, the second one was the cooked meat and we just ate the raw meat. So we should be super dehydrated, I think, now. Drop our palm fronds over there. Once when we are able to collect more fibrous leaves, I kind of want to save the palm fronds as we can put fibrous leaves and the fibrous leaves respawn, palm fronds don't respawn. We need some water really, really bad. Still is empty. Did I not put this meat? Oh no, I ate the raw meat, that's right. Three AM. Let's go ahead and put out the fire. Let's go to bed. First night is now completed. Okay, beautiful day for our second day. We have survived our first day on Stranded Deep. Didn't get too much completed, but we got the bare necessities of a shelter, fire, some food, we got some water. I know we're going to be really, really thirsty. So we're going to need more water on our next episode. And then it's just basically exploring this island, chopping down all the trees, getting all our palm fronds, and organizing this island out for our next day of Stranded Deep. Thanks again for watching this Stranded Deep episode. We will see you on the next video.